Another demon sent by this so-called god. He can join the rest. My ice cream cone. That was a mistake, buddy. A mistake I can correct, if you like. Maybe you didn't hear me, friend. There's a debt here, and I'm ready to settle up. Stand aside. Pick that up and pay for it. The ghost of Sparta bends to no mortal. Such sweet, cold perfection. A round ball of heaven balanced on a delicate cone. So pleasing to the senses. Who doesn't love an ice cream cone? Pretty neat trick there, pal. Let's see if I can match it. Another Cretan sent by a so-called god. Leave, or join those who have come before you. Well, get a load of you, Cupcake. You know, I worked real hard on that ice cream cone. Real hard. Don't know if you've got any money in that skirt of yours. But one way or the other, you're paying for it. seen everything. Kind sir, do you have any cake by chance? I'm not looking for cake, princess. I'm looking for special people. Have you seen any? Well, there's no need to be rude about it. Rude? <laughs> You're gonna wish for rude when I'm done with you. Bring it on! You ruffian! Uh-huh. There they are. I'm sure I'm getting closer. Just figure out this last bit. Careful, careful. A real thief would know just how valuable those are. And I suppose you know what they are, huh, Squirrel Boy? Sure, they're mine. Really? They're definitely not the property of some two-bit treasure hunter who found them. Well, it shouldn't be too much trouble for you to take them off me then. Come on. I'm afraid my search for a worthy opponent may have been in vain. If this is the true threat to the Hellgast, we have nothing to worry about. One side, I have work to do. Speak clearly. You should have moved when you had the chance. Now, are you going to stand there mumbling, or do you know how to use that sword? Good. Let's hope this provides more than a momentary diversion. Though somehow, I think it won't. What's with the monkey chase? Why did you stop me? Those monkeys are taking over the planet! That's the first monkey I've seen all day! But where are they taking over? You must be working for Spectre too! Well, this net will hold you as well as it does those monkeys! There's no way you can put me in a net. And what makes you think you can stop me? Yeah, I gotta believe. Hmm. You know, either I'm going crazy, or some of this gibberish is starting to make sense to me. No, you're definitely going crazy. Those belong to yours truly. <laughs> really? Well, actually, I've kind of grown attached to them. You still don't have any idea what they are, do you? Why don't you let a real treasure hunter take care of them? Well, aren't you adorable? I'll tell you what. You give me those papers, and I'll save you the embarrassment of having them taken off you. I don't think so, Roadkill. I wish I had some chilies. Come on, Mr. B. <laughs> What's that? This one still sees the sunshine. Look, Mr. B. <laughs> jump! Jump! No one needs to get hurt. No one, unless we miss a skip. I like you ever so much. So full of stuffing. He's my new friend, Mr. B. You'll never split us in two. 
go back to your underswampy, Mr. P. Nanda Kokoa. Matagmo Tijivan no Chikara or Thomas Kotoga de Xomonaina. Hanashini Naran. Hm? Nekonga Nishki. Matagmo Te, Zikan no Mudadana. Nani? Washing a Hinjakuna rose in Nimieruka. は災いのもとだ。敬意を示すとはどういうことか。お前たちには関係ない。されと言ったはずだが、通じていなかったようだな。You know, we've run into some real freaks on this little adventure of yours. Like that thing, for example. Two heads! What'd you just say? Pardon me? Oh, the little one is just a sidekick. Did that uh, weasel creature just call me a sidekick? Weasel creature! Maybe it's time someone taught you some manners. Is there something I can help you with? What are you doing here? I'm just looking for certain people. And if they don't want to be found? No, I'm afraid it's too late for that. We're all going to be involved in this sooner or later. Not me. Leave me out of it. You're either going to help me, or I'm going to stop you. Here. I'm starting to wonder if that signal we picked up was real or not. Have you seen even one gold bolt? No, but we have found... that. Yeah, I'd rather have the bolts. What was that? My friend was merely commenting on the small likelihood of your leading us to... Did that tin pot just call us worthless? Show him, Jack! Show him what we're worth! Now, now, I am sure there is a reasonable solution we can arrive at. I think this is plenty reasonable. Let's settle this. What are you doing? I almost had him! Lay off him, Spike. He's just a little monkey. Those little monkeys are trying to take over the planet. It looks like he's just having fun to me. Don't you like having fun? I like saving the world. And what about you? Are you working with Spectre? Spectre? Who's that? I'm working with Chop Chop Master Onion. I don't think he's trying to take over the world. Yet. Well, I'm not going to wait around to find out. You'd think the demons would know better by now. They must be as dumb as they are ugly. Okay, so they're not all ugly. And who sent you, sweetheart? I've been sent by no one. I determine where I go. And whom I fight. Bad choice this time. I guess we're all entitled to one, though. The choice was made when I first picked up this weapon. Since then, I need only move forward. Through you, if need be. Oh, it needs be. But remember, when the blade is at your throat, I gave you a chance to walk away. Unzip him, Mr. Bee. Unzip him. Oh, look. <laughs> it's a fresh one, Mr. Bee. Hey, look. I like him. So ready to unstuff. Challenge! Challenge! Only one will win. Right, Mr. B? One, two, found an old shoe. Three, four, never darken my door. 
He's a cuddlesmith to be. Can I have him? He's my new friend. I don't care what you say. Mine! Mine! Good afternoon, ma'am. What an interesting looking group. Anything I can help you with? <laughs> it was a simple question. <laughs> I said, surrender your cake. <laughs> oh, your highness. I'm not sure you know who I am, but I can tell you I am not in the habit of surrendering. <laughs> Come on! Let us teach this knave a lesson. <laughs> okay, princess. How about instead of cake, you stuff my foot in your mouth? One of us? I'm here alone. I'm not working with anyone. I'm asking if you're a conduit. After looking at you, I really don't need to ask. You sound like you're looking for someone. Is it me? I'm just asking if you're with me. There's a storm coming in, and it's good to know who your friends are. I said I'm here alone. I'm not your friend. Well, that's too bad. And I'm a good friend to have. You've already picked your side, so there's only one thing left to do. With each victory, I feel the power getting stronger within me. Soon, I'll have total control of this blade. Soon? Soon is already too late. I've no quarrel with you, stranger. Keep that blade sheathed and you can walk away unscathed. <laughs> you have to know that's not happening. Does this look like the kind of sword you keep hidden? Then I'm afraid you won't be walking away from here at all. Having defeated all the villains he had encountered thus far, a result which was, well, rarely in doubt, the brave knight continued on his quest. And what's this? Mm -hmm. Another scoundrel? Some Ooh. abomination sent by the mysterious force which Sir Daniel must dispatch with him? No. Oh, well, I'm sure we can all just see for ourselves. Tell me who you are and why I should let you walk away. Not good enough, I'm afraid. All right, whoever you are, show yourself. Mind telling me how you did that? People like you, who don't know what you're doing, you're dangerous. Just trying to help. Yeah, I hear that a lot too. How it feels good though, right? Soon that's all you're gonna want. More power. You say shoe? Knew it would come to this. You keep your feet on the ground, girly, and I'll try not to drop a building on you. Emola? You said you don't say bluffy sable. She's a navy. Mind telling me what the hell that was all about? Monsters are just people who can't control the power they got. Like you, for example. Someone? You? Didn't exactly stick that landing, did you? I bet you're not even sure how you pulled that stun off. Oh, yeah. Allows you. Face? You asked around the shade. Shallow my ears more to let do shopping. That's just luck, little girl. Sooner or later. Ellie, it's me. I haven't been able to raise you on the communicator since I arrived here. Still, it's important this gets to you. There's a power here unlike any I've seen before. It, it seems to be flowing from a single source. Maybe that's also the source of the markers. Source of the necromorphs of... Everything that's going on. Come no further, mortal! 
You speak of the dead return to life. Not life. Necromorphs are abominations. Living dead. The depths of Hades will not be trespassed by your kind, mortal. Only the gods decide who lives and dies. I know the dangers of men convince their gods. If I'm what stands between you and the rest of civilization, I'll put an end to this now. This... This is the handiwork of the Pretender. It looks like a mortal child's plaything. Is it you who has constructed this place? Hey, I just got here myself. A mortal? You dare raise your hand against a god? Explain yourself before I meet you. I'm afraid I can't do that. I've seen too much happen too quickly around here. Perhaps you thought I was making a request. Let me make myself clear! Your life for your insolence. 